All right, what is up guys? Um, been a while since I've recorded a vlog for the channel. You know, just been kind of difficult in 2020 with the kids being home from school. It's, it's basically impossible for me to film a vlog in the house. There's just there's too much noise and chaos. But anyway, I recently got the iFlight Crystal antenna. And if you've been living under a rock and you haven't seen these, it basically replaces the faceplate on the DJI goggles and then the patch antennas are built in. Um, I'm not going to take it off, but there's patch antennas behind there and then the RPSMA cables are just kind of like routed down to connect to the bottom connectors. At least they are on my version. You know, people are curious about whether you should attach them on top or bottom. I think it's better to put them on bottom just so you have Omnis on top. So I'm gonna compare these today to the ORT Shield and the True RC X-Air. And then for a baseline, I'll fly the, uh, the True RC Singularities first. Uh, I'm not gonna like post that footage or anything, but I'll, I'll use that just to show how Omnis compare. And excuse me if you can hear this noise, but I just got this really cool thing. Let me show you. That's my Ryobi forced air propane heater. It just runs off a little battery. Since I already have the batteries, I figure I'd order the heater and that way maybe I can actually fly this winter because my hands, they just can't take flying in the cold. So it, it's, it's working pretty well so far, <laughs> but hopefully, but, but hopefully it's, it's not too noisy. Anyway, some things I wanted to cover before I get started with the, the flight testing. I'm just here at the school in my neighborhood. I'm going to do the thing that I've done before where I kind of fly around the portables over there just to present a barrier to block the signal and we'll compare results. And then I'll do a little behind flying too. I love this heater, guys. So, so some things I just kind of wanted to get out of the way because this has come up before in my previous antenna videos is um, how do they compare to the stock antennas? I don't bother flying the stock antennas. If you really want to know, I'll post a link to RC Shim's latest video where he tested the iFlight Crystal as well. Um, but the stock antennas, are, they're, they're really bad. There, there shouldn't be any question about whether or not you can improve the stock antennas. Just get rid of them. Either get some singularities or some patch antennas, maybe this iFlight Crystal. We'll, we'll find out after today, but it's not even worth including the stock antennas in these tests, okay? So that's one thing I wanted to get out of the way. Another thing is people often ask me why I don't do like legit range tests, like where I'm flying, you know, miles away. Guys, if I'm comparing antennas, it's not feasible to fly a mile or two. If I, for some reason, lose a quad, well, there goes my whole vlog. So for, for the purpose of these types of like testing videos, it makes more sense for me to find an area where I can do a close range test with object penetration, just because, you know, in the name of efficiency, it just makes more sense. I'm just gonna be flying my Torque FPV Race Hornet, uh, just because it's got the stock Cadex Vista antenna on it. I'm just gonna use this little guy to kind of do some laps around these portables. Yeah, so I'm gonna fly Singularities first and uh, just make a note of the, the drop in signal. I'm probably gonna do 50 megabit, 25 milliwatt, no focus mode. And then we'll compare all of the directional antennas. Okay. Okay, so we just did the um, Singularities and at the far corner of the portables, they were coming down to about six megabit from 50 megabit. Uh, it's funny, the first, First flight actually fail safe. I had to turn the power from my crossfire to like 500 milliwatt. So yeah, six megabit. Now we're gonna try the ORT shield. I'm just gonna face this direction. The portables are gonna be off to the right. So I guess we're kind of testing the beam width too. I don't know. We'll see. Make sure I record. <sighs> Again, this is at 25 megabit. Oh, we got a, a walker. It's like, what the hell is that? <laughs> okay. 
17, 11, 12, 16, 10. And I'm just gonna do about three laps just to get like an average. Ooh, bad stutter. Seven, ooh. So that's pretty, uh, seven, that's pretty comparable to the singularities actually. Thirteen that time. Let's go for one more. It drops really bad in between these portables, but I'm not paying attention to that. Eleven. Okay, so it's looking like with the shield, it's about an average of ten megabits. Oh, and then I'm kind of doing a little behind flying. Where did that walker go? She hasn't caught up yet. I think I was just going down to this tree, 40, 39, 31, 31 megabits, let's do two laps. Twenty-eight. So we're dropping down to around 30 megabit, flying behind, out of line of sight, mind you, because yeah, we're flying that way. You guys see this portable heater? I love this thing. Talk about a game changer. Okay, so that was the ORT shield. I don't know if a lot of people are using those still, but um, now we're going to switch to the iFlight Crystal Plus, the True RC Singularities on top. I didn't order the uh, the iFlight stubbies because why? Um, yeah, and then, yeah, okay. You guys order this iFlight Crystal, make sure, well, I got mine from Pyrodrone, but make sure you get some of these um, thumb wheels for the connectors. It's, uh, it's pretty handy. You don't want to try putting these things on uh, without them. But then I guess with this type of antenna, you're going to put it on and then leave it on. So maybe you don't need it. And then I also wanted to add, this is not in any way like a paid review iFlight. Doesn't even talk to me. <laughs> um, I just ordered this from Pyro Flip. As soon as I noticed that he had it in stock, and I think, I think the carbon is already sold out, um, but you can still get like the sticker bomb or the other one. I don't know what it's called, the red one. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna try the iFlight Crystal. Just warm up my hands a little bit pretty uh, disconcerting. I think I just discovered I have dirt on the lens of my camera. It's like a little black dot. That kind of sucks. But anyway. <sighs> okay. I fly crystal. Twenty-five milliwatt, fifty megabit. No joggers or anything. Okay, we're dropping down to six, five, seven. Wow. Okay. Okay. So might be a little worse than the shield. I guess that could kind of make sense. Um, because the shield is four patches. Four. Yeah. Wow. But is it actually worse than the singularities? Come on. I guess maybe to make it fair, I should face the portables. Maybe the beam is too narrow. Six. Yeah, we're dropping pretty low. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna alter my position.
Okay, so that was worse than the singularities. Um, let's face that corner. I mean, but again, it would make sense that they're worse than the shields because the shields are, are full patch antennas and now we're running two patch antennas and singularities. Let's try this again. Okay, so we're dropping to 8, 12, 11. Yeah, that's better. Eleven, fourteen, twelve. God, I'm gonna have to redo the shields. Ten, eleven. Okay, let's do the behind test. I'm gonna have to redo the stupid shields. What the fuck? Oh Jesus Christ, this cat's coming for me. Oh my god. <laughs> Cat, I am trying to test here. Uh, stray cat coming after my quad. Things you would not notice flying analog. Where to go? I think he's still there. He's waiting for me. Cat. Uh. Okay, so definite improvement once I face that direction. Um, I guess to make it fair, I'll have to do the shields again. Okay, let's stop. I'm gonna I'm gonna redo the shields off camera, um, and we'll see what it looks like. And then I'm gonna go to the X airs. All right, now we're gonna try the X airs. Um, I did just, I did just redo the shields facing the portables and, um, it was actually about the same as the, uh, the crystal. I dropped it down to around 10 megabits, which is, um, What that's showing is that the crystal doesn't have as wide of a beam as the shield. Um, because when I was facing straight on, the crystal did horrible, did about as bad as the singularities. But when I faced the direction, um, it brought it up to about 10 megabits. But the running the crystal only on the two bottom ports is about equal to running the ORT shields, which is pretty impressive actually, because you're talking two patch antennas versus four. So that's 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 pretty impressive. Um, so let's see how the X airs do. True RC X airs. <sighs> Ooh, let me record. Uh, Twenty two, twenty, fourteen, twelve, eleven. Twelve, twelve. K 
Okay, so we're not dropping below 12 so far. And um, just like the feel of the video and the goggles, it's much smoother. 13, 14. So we're averaging about, I guess, two megabit higher. Yeah. Okay, let's do the behind test. Hopefully that cat's gone. Where that cat just jumped out of the tree. 26, 22. Ah, that's worse than the uh, shields. Thirty-four, twenty-seven. Eh, it's pretty close. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch that back first just so I can get like a good handle on the numbers and then I'll come back. Alright guys, so uh just kind of wrapping up. Um something I did at the end, which is actually pretty interesting. If you again, if you watched RC Shim's video, he kind of demonstrated that the left side is more important than the right side, and sure enough only using one X air, I was getting like basically the same results. Uh, but anyway, as using two. So anyway, okay, running the singularities, I was dropping down to about five or six megabit. Running the ORT shield, I was dropping down to around 10. Let's see if we can get that. Of course, it's not going to focus because it's focusing on my face, but anyway. Um, and then with the iFly Crystal, I was also dropping down to around 10. So performance is very similar, which is surprising. And then the x airs were dropping down to the lowest I think I saw was around 12. But they were also recovering much faster. Now, I'm not smart enough to do the percentage math uh, like on the fly, but from 50 megabit dropping down to 6, 10, and 12. Maybe somebody in the comments will do the math and figure out those percentages. But obviously the x airs are gonna be the best still. The, you know, RC Shim posted those helical antennas, de death rays, I think they were called. Um, and then you've got antennas like the Cyclops. I don't like the antennas that go over the center of the goggle because I want to be able to grab the middle of the goggle. So I'm either gonna be running something on the sides or honestly, this uh, this crystal is really nice, and um, yeah, it performs similar to the shields. But what's cool about it? Uh, let me get this X air off. So the obvious benefit to this crystal antenna is the form factor, because it's it's basically just a faceplate, right? So the true RC stubbies used to be my daily drivers because I could just leave them on. And here, I'll show you. The reason why I like the stubbies is because in my helipack, I've got my goggle pocket over here and I can just go like that and they fit perfect. So now with this crystal, I can just leave that on there always and you know that's obviously the main benefit so yeah there you have it um performance is almost double that of the singularities and we already know the singularities are better than the stock antennas so to answer the most basic question you're getting more than twice the performance of the stock antennas i mean the crystal it's it's obviously good the the form factor is really good because you can just leave it on and just not have to worry about it. Don't have to worry about breaking the connectors and the goggles. Like I hate to get into like, um, like I don't, I don't want to get into any kind of like competition between vendors. You know, like I said, I have um, like zero, zero relationship with iFlight. This 
This is actually the first iFlight product I've ever bought, honestly. So, so zero allegiance to iFlight. Now, a lot of people are curious about the, uh, the Luminaire Axi patches uh, designed by TrueRC. I don't have those. I'm guessing they perform really similar. I don't have those. I would have ordered them, uh, but GetFPV was supposed to send me a set, and I don't know if it was just like a miscommunication with their shipping, but they never got here. So I guess well, like while I was waiting, it just kind of slipped my mind, and I just never ordered a set, so I, I don't have those. I'm not going to say that the iFlight Crystal is a clone, because it's it's clearly not. They're, you know, I'll, I'll credit get fpv and true rc for coming up with the idea of low profile patches great idea um i think iflight just kind of like went one step better and you know that's that's nothing against anybody that's just kind of like that's kind of how things go that's like the evolution of the hobby i mean i, I would have loved to have compared them to the axes i just don't have them i think the x errors are still going to be the best bet if you want absolute reliability for long range or, or super sketch conditions where you might lose a quad, I would definitely say go with the X airs, and I will I will still continue to use the X airs when I fly long range. But for daily use, I'm definitely leaving this crystal on. It's I mean I'm getting way better signal. It's kind of like the true RC stubbies. I don't have to worry about taking them off. Guys, this heater is awesome. I've been running it for an hour and twenty minutes on my small Ryobi battery, and it's still going. <laughs> This is going to be so cool. I think at this point, it's um, it's kind of a no-brainer that, like, I've seen a lot of people asking for reviews. And, and again, RC Shim did a really good video, which to me kind of, like, summed it up. A, a patch antenna is always going to be better than an Omni antenna. Always. I mean, it's, it's kind of a no-brainer. And as far as I can tell, it's pretty hard to screw up a patch antenna. Uh, <laughs> I mean, even, like... Like, the Menace RC patch is supposedly horrible, but it's still better than an Omni antenna. You know, and that's like, we're talking about analog now. I'd say out of all the options for antennas for DJI, I would say this iFlight Crystal is really good, or the Luminaire Axis is probably really good. It's, it, it just kind of depends on, I guess, the aesthetic you're going for. But again, if you want the absolute best, and you don't want something covering the middle of your goggles, I would go for the True RC X Airs. But yeah, that's the uh, that's a quick test comparison vlog, guys. Um, if you have any questions or complaints, leave them in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching. All right, later, guys.